Greetings, I'm Chappers. And I'm the c c c captain. <laughs> With a C, not a K. <laughs> and we're here at Andertons.co.uk. Blood in it! <laughs> what are you chatting? <laughs> we want Britain's Got Talent! <laughs> Deluxe. It's uh, not actually a dead horse. It's not actually a dead horse. It's actually, no, it smells like one. It's actually an amazing. Uh, well, I'm going to say overdrive pedal. It's uh, okay. So I like why it's called a dead horse because it's basically um, it's a tube screamer. It's a modified tube screamer, if you imagine. And it's the the tube screamer is the most modified, talked about drive pedal of all time ever. Hence the reason when the guys at Protone thought, I know, we're going to do another Tube Screamer mod. It's like flogging a dead horse, this. Hence the reason it's called the dead horse. Which I kind of like, it's a little bit tongue-in-cheek, ironic for them. But they claim it's kind of like <coughs> all the best mods that they'd ever found on by Keeley and uh, loads of different brands like that. All kind of motched into... Motched? That's not even a word, is it? It is now, but it's motched. sort of um, put into one pedal. <laughs> It's kind of, if you look at this, some cool videos on this pedal by guys like Misha Mansour and Keith Merrow, where they very subtly use this pedal to take a very high gain kind of amplifier and then tighten it. And that's really all the pedal does rather than adding more gain, it tightens it. Yeah, let me give you the player's perspective. You expect to buy something like a, a dirty, evil looking dead horse pedal of gain. And you think you're going to put it through an amp and you're going to have a clean or crunch amp, step on it and you're going to get that super high gain sound. It can do that, but that isn't the way you'd want to use it. So, so you can take the dead horse, which I think is a horrendous name. It's my favourite name of all pedals. I don't like the name. Because uh, you're a vegetarian. It makes and me you're think about French. the suffering of I'm a meat eating, horses. slightly French person. Slave animals. Don't bother me at all. <laughs> Nay! <laughs> <laughs> mm. um, Monsieur, your horse is testing so nice today. If you put it in the front of a, of a basically a clean amp, this it, it sounds does. pants. Here you go. <laughs> There you go, it sounds pants. It doesn't sound pants, but you wouldn't pay 200 well, quid for it, would you? No, or whatever you wouldn't it is. do. That's not what it's for. What it does is it takes your dirty sound, yeah. and it goes hot, and it tenses it, it's, it soaks tenses it up, it, it brings like it that. in. Just before that, um, just, you know, when you're sort of a bit nervous, you go, ooh, like that. That's it, it gives does. it a sonic hadouken, <laughs> and it focuses the sound and makes it tighter and more gent. So basically, it refocuses the sound. You might witness the fitness of your high-end saturated gain being pulled in and refocused in a more rhythmical way. A few different knobs and buttons, volume, tone, and drive, pretty obvious. Uh, the diode button allows you to switch between a symmetrical and asymmetrical kind of clipping pattern. Uh, pretty difficult, for, I, I was struggling to, to hear much of a difference, but I, I think 
this is all about achieving that last 5% I isn't think it, as you were to... struggling to find the difference because you weren't playing the guitar. Yes. When you play it you really feel the difference. The big one, the really obvious one is the attack button and that uh, is going to be appropriate for some amp setups and not for others. So we, we have a, an amp setup here which is quite bright, uh, doesn't really need additional uh, sort of top end. So sometimes we, if we use the attack button in here, it, it makes it sound a bit too harsh. But if you had a very dark sounding amplifier and you really wanted to add some cut to it, that's where the attack button would come in. So we've got the Marshall on the overdrive mode, but orange with not a lot of gain. I mean, literally it is something like two. So here's what the amp sounds like on its own. Let's switch it to the Marshall though. So here's the Marshall. <laughs> Sounds great. Yes. Here it is refocused with a bit of dead animal. It's a bit like a BBE Sonic Maximizer yeah. does with, with the way it kind of reformats the sound. Yep. and strengthens it and refocuses it. Shall I, shall I switch diodes whilst you're playing? Do so that, I'm just going to chug on some chords. So it's subtle. It's just subtles, subtles, refocusing, reshifting, making it more rhythmical, uh, more modern sounding in my opinion. I think it's a great, great pedal. I think that you need a really good head and 412 to get that popping bass it's, it's and mid range. It's not what I was expecting it to be. I no. think I'm, I'm, I'm sort of always expect. I know. I think my the brain unexpected. is kind of my. I, I, I expect. Uh, I guess because I'm not a gent player, this kind of concept of, of, of um, tight, you know, needing to tighten isn't something that I've necessarily um, needed in my sort of. You need it when you've got super low tuned, um, yes. progressive rock type riffing, yeah. carnival 
kind of tesseract, you know, periphery. If you've got lots of super low frequencies, yeah. really fast playing, mm. you want to have it all focused and tight so it comes out and hits the audience can, in the chest. I can definitely hear though. I mean, that as soon as you said that and you start to listen to the to the, the, the E string stuff that you're doing like that, you can definitely hear that is it becomes more focused. In fact, it kind of becomes more focused even really with the drive on zero on. This yeah, bit. no, it I mean, does. I wonder if that's a yeah, different vibe. Yeah, absolutely. Vibe. And uh, don't forget, I mean, I'm tuned high. For this style of music. What are you tuned to? Well, I'm just tuned to drop C sharp, I think. I don't know. Really? Like that. I can't remember now. I oh, know. Yeah, I think it's drop C. Oh, yeah, quite a lot lower. Yeah, but drop C <laughs> is not low for this style of music. I mean, people I don't like, get a squire six string bass. You don't you really don't have to. But I mean, like, sixth went back in the day and Meshuga, all these dudes, yeah. you know, they were tuning super low, like A and B and shit. <laughs> I love it. I think it's great. They look cool, don't they? I do like the graphics. They well, you don't like the well graphics. debatable. I, like the <laughs> I tell you what, I did like. I like the box it came in. Uh, yeah, that was cool. I know we shouldn't uh, just. Uh, I'm going to buy a pedal just because of the box, but it kind of looks. Well, like no, it's I have done. White paint. <laughs> I, I bought my first Big Muff because it came in that really cool uh, wooden box. I thought that was awesome. And then it, it comes with a special little comfort blanket as well, so that if oh, you, that's you nice. Know, Blow your nose on it and sleep with it. Well, can I, I have to smell it now? What does smell it smell? It smells like musky smell. Oh, it smells it? nice. It smells of you get a, you get a picture wood. of a you get a picture of a devil woman with her boobs censored out. Look, check it awesome. out. Awesome. I'll put it on this camera. So okay. for devil woman's boobs, uh, sandalwood scented cloths and refocused tighter heavy rock progressive metal. I think it's rhythm a genty tones. thing. It's a genty guys thing, isn't it? Um, All women. Sounded good. There are some women that play that style. That's true. Too. A, a gentleman, a gentle, a genty gentleman, or a gentlewoman. Can you tell that Lee is a big fan of this style of music? Yeah, I didn't even. Um, you you rattle off all these things like Carnival and Meshuggah, and that's what I have in my tea. That's what I have in my coffee. Uh, uh, we uh, yeah. done that gag before. <laughs> I've been Rob Chappers. And I've been so out of touch with modern music, it's frightening. Doesn't matter though, mate. It's not about that, is it? It's all about <laughs> loving what you love. Bye. Bye. We'll